is when you did as he did in the past, he, they took their sin and they departed from it. And when they departed from their sin, they knew they were in the will of God, that God would act on their behalf. That they knew they were in the place that God had called them to be. And when you get in the place that God has called you to be, faith begins to explode inside of you. Something begins to stir up in your heart that you begin to go, wow, God has brought me to this very place. And he'll get me through this very place. That God has gotten me here. And even though that we're here, we know that we're here by being obedient and following God. And when you're obedient and you follow God and you get to a place of impossibilities, you get there and you go, this will come to pass. And this too will come to pass. Why? Because my God has brought me here and he'll get me through it. Because you begin to know the power that God has and that God has gotten you to a certain place to get your faith built up. Joshua is probably to the place now. God, thank you for all that I have experienced. God, thank you for all that I have been through. God, all the hard times, all the good times, Father, I thank you that you've brought me out of that and you've got me here. Then my faith is now built up that I can get through this too. Yes. Could you imagine if he would have never experienced any of those things along the way? He'd get to a place where it says, man, the sun needs to stand still. We're done for. No. He said, man, if the sun needs to stand still, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> Joshua 10, 2 through 12 through 14. It says that Joshua, he spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered us up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said to the sight of Israel, Son, stand still over Gibeon and moon in the valley. He says the sun stood still and the moon stopped <laughs> till the people had revenge upon their enemies. He said, is this not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and did not hasten to go down for about a whole day. And there has been no day like that before it or after it. And the Lord heeded the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. The Lord listened to the voice of a man. And he made the moon and the sun stay still. And if God will do that for Joshua, even in the midst of all of Israelite sins, but what they did to make the biggest miracle come to pass is they had to lay down their sins and follow God. And when they did, it says that God fought for Israel. I'm telling you today, leave stuff behind you. Set down what God doesn't want for you, and God fights for you. Could you imagine that? That trench, could you imagine today to go to war and just be like, God's fighting this one for us. God's got this, guys. You guys excited today? God's got this. We can do this. We've got it. And, the, and just imagine the enemy comes upon you and they see you rejoicing. That would discourage them so much that they go, they have something up their sleeve. We're done for. And that's exactly what began to happen in these wars, that they saw that already had been defeated before they were. Why? Because they saw whose side God was on. But it's our choice which side of the battle we want to be on. Yeah. Do you want to be on the winning side or the losing side? And when you choose God, you choose the winning side. When you choose God, you choose something so much greater. The Lord wants to fight for you guys. I'm leaving you with this. He wants to fight for you. That doesn't mean to get comfortable in your chair, sit back and don't do anything anymore, going God's going to provide and God's going to fight. No, it means to get up and do what God's called you to do. And he'll be with you in that battle. He'll be with you in that war. You've gone through this so many times. You've gone through different experiences in your life, good experiences, bad experience, experiences where God has come through and done something in your life. Some of you today may not even have recognized God's hand on it. Some of you today may have ignored that it was God's hand. And some of you today may be denying that it was God's hand upon your life. But now is the time to allow God to move and experience him in your life. Allow God to move and experience him in your life as Joshua did. He stopped. This is what I'm leaving you with, guys. He stopped. He listened. And he heard. He stopped. He listened. And he heard. He stopped. He listened and he heard. Too many of us are too busy going our own way that we never stop listening and hear from God. We're too busy complaining 
that we never stop listening and hear from God. We're too busy doing our own thing that we never stop listening and hear from God. We're too busy fighting a battle on our own that we never stop listening and hear from God. But God is wanting to speak to you today. Are you listening? Are you listening? And sometimes when you stop, you listen and you hear from God, God says go. And that doesn't mean to continue stopping. That means to go and listen for the next steps. That means to go. I've seen so many, this being Veterans Day, I've seen so many military movies where they've called the men to go to a certain place, but they didn't know their mission. They didn't know why. They didn't know the cause. All they knew is they were sent to go, and when you get there, you will find your mission. And I believe that's what God is doing today. He's saying, I'm calling you to go. And when you go, I will tell you your mission. And when you go, I will lead you along the way. And as you go, and as you go, and as you go, what are you willing to go today? Are you willing to do what the Israelites did? Even though they made mistakes and they picked up some sin along the way, God was still just to forgive them. That he was still saying, you can still lay it down and accept me. It doesn't matter what you've done, what your family's done, what your parents have done. It doesn't matter what you did today. He said, you've just sinned against me. He said, but you know what? You can be forgiven. You can be forgiven today. Lay it down, and here I am, and I'll continue to fight the battle for you. Amen.